This is the type of story that there's some finger chopping here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, The Book Champ. This is Max, and today we're gonna to be talking about the novel Let Him Go by Larry Watson, soon to be a major motion picture. Ooh. So this is about two grandparents going like on a quest to bring back their only grandchild, taking him out of the grasp of a notoriously like bad influence type of family, the Wee Boys. That's their quest, that's what they're doing all along this novel. This isn't your average like, I'm just gonna go knock on the door and politely talk some sense into this woman to give me back my grandchild. No. Very big mistake. This is the type of story that there's some finger chopping here. <laughs> this is something that would totally happen in real life. I think that's what kept me intrigued throughout the whole novel. This is a type of story that's very dialogue-ish. No like John Wick type of fights in Sue or cowboy like banging. It's just like a quest of two normal grandparents and they just want to take their grandchild out of that, out of that world, have him be raised in a safe, calm, and loving family. So one thing I will say about this novel is that it is very anti-quotation marks. So when I first started reading, I'm like, my head was starting to hurt because I just didn't know, is it just a regular sentence is somebody talking like no quotation marks at all so i was like my mind was like glitching and thus i decided to opt for the audiobook and the audiobook was very good guys like help me audiobooks and they came through so a little bit of this membrane does happen not too much of like a huge like oh my gosh but i like that they put it in there it just showed like the wee boys were very they're bad man <laughs> everyone knows that the wee boys are bread and buttered bad trouble so i can see why the grandparents wanted to bring their grandchild back with them and it is getting made into a movie with kevin costner ah! <laughs> I'll watch anything from him. If you're into slow burns and like a kind of calm story, this is it for you. I feel for me, it was missing more, I don't want to say action because I don't think it doesn't go well in this story. It was more about dialogue, thinking what like the worst thing could happen and just hoping that it wouldn't. Such a slow burn, guys, and nothing really like grand happens. Like something does happen towards the end, but the very end, like the almost like the last couple of pages and the way it's written, it just, it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, even though it should be the the way it's portrayed is like, mm, oh well, you know, like that type of feel. So it just, it never got my heart pounding. It never made me feel like, oh my gosh, like worried for this grandma and grandpa. I never felt like they were in danger, like in dire danger. They were confused and kind of like bullied at times. I'm gonna give this book two bookworm points out of five. It was something different for me to read. I'm not exaggerating guys, like it's a super duper slow burn, very slow. It's, it's, it's getting you there, getting you there. It's kind of like trying to build up a moment and once that moment comes it just kind of like blows over it real fast and you're just not left with any shock value it just felt like it was like a, a quick story like bum, 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 done. like mm, okay it wasn't bad but it wasn't like the greatest thing i've ever read so thank you so much for watching guys and if you like awesome bomb book reviews by max don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell it'll always let you know when my videos are being uploaded and i'll see you guys next time bye